Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm going to take a listen to Flame Song, Joyful Noise. This is the song that he sued Katy Perry over, the song Dark Horse. And it seems like Flame won. So, I guess that's cool for him. Honestly, just personally, doing my little bit of research, not a whole ton, but I feel like the case was kind of unnecessary because music these days just sounds so similar. I can't believe there hasn't been more lawsuits and, you know, stuff over this before. Honestly, that's just my thoughts. I'm not gonna do a whole video about it. I don't really feel like that the case was a good case. Music just tends to copy each other. There's nothing new under the sun. I could probably bring up to you, like, a bunch of songs that sound similar. Maybe I'll just do that right now. Let me give a few examples. Skillet just recently released his new song called This Is The Kingdom. Here's a clip. Definitely sounds very similar to Imagine Dragons Believer, if you tell me. I don't know, I hear it. I don't know if you do. What about this song by Striper? This is called Sorry, and it released in 2018. All right, and in 2003, Disciple released this song called Touch. Sounds like the same riff to me. Now, I'm not musically inclined in the fact that like, oh, that one note is slightly different and so thus they're completely two different riffs. I'm not that musically smart, okay? I don't know, but they sound very similar. I bet you guys could probably bring some more examples of maybe even more popular cases. I don't know, those are just two that came into my brain right now. I probably could think of more, but I'm not going to right now. I'm going to go ahead and give Joyful Noise a listen because I've honestly never heard this song in full. All I've heard is that really, really annoying beat. Bryson, I think this beat is more annoying than Triple E's 116, okay? So, let's get a headache, okay? This is so annoying, you know? You know what it is? Let's talk about it. Your boy's been a Christian quite a few years. Victory and faith, but I failed in my fears. I heard a lot of words that have tickled many ears. That's why I praise God for the word that we adhere. The word became flesh, lived for 30 years. Died in 33, but after days reappeared. Jesus Christ anointed one ascended in the ear. Or you could say the air where the Father made him heir. Of all things, the throne no was more than a Wait. chair. But after all redemption, yes, he did take a chair. Greater than the angels, name superior to theirs. This is Hebrews, Hebrews chapter one, Mr. Taylor. That, that's, the right. that's a, that's a like guitar. I thought I wanted like drunk, sexed out and blunted. But all I really wanted was the one who really wanted. Fought death, beat it, gave his life to the public. I love it. Ah, I get it. Okay. Joyful noise. It doesn't have to sound great. It could give you a headache, but it's a joyful noise. Whatever. Okay, cool.
appealing to God conscious. Yes. Could take nothing, make creation and lives honor. He did. The same God that came through a fetus is Jesus. Jesus. Limited to breathing, got believe for singing. Okay, personally, I found just the song musically is very annoying. I have not heard the full Katy Perry song in full, but I feel like that was uh, well produced that the, if she did rip off the beat, it was made less annoying. That That's my opinion about that musically. Uh, also, like the guitar, I feel like was filler. I'll just say bonus points for even having a guitar, okay? So bonus points there for... Uh, because, you know, how, you know, it's a sin to have electric guitar in songs these days. Obviously, lyrically, I mean, this what released in 2008, so that definitely was kind of CHH back then, but at the same time, I'm just kind of reminded that we are kind of not as vocal about some of these things as we were, you know? I feel like we've kind of lost this aspect where we were kind of, you know, just talking more things about the Bible, you know? There's nothing wrong with highlighting mental health issues or, you know, worldwide problems or political issues. That is what makes music so incredible is that we're able to incorporate all these different aspects in music. But so should the Bible. The Bible also should have this prominent part in our music, I believe. Yeah, I really feel like we've kind of just dropped off from talking about the Bible in our songs. Like, that was just definitely, like, a bit of revelation definitely kind of shining through in that lyrically. Like I tell people, I don't know how to sing, but I know how to make a joyful noise. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure God is happy with this joyful noise as well. Because for me, it's plain noise, plain noise. All I hear is plain noise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of the day, and God bless.